What it do? It's your boy Crypto Bro 9000. And I'm back at you with another segment of this OG Crypto Funk. Did anybody see the dip today at 277? Anybody catch it? It was right on time. I mean, I was telling my, my boy, Cowboy Cow, about three days ago that I was looking for 265 because Agrad Crypto OG technical analyst said it might hit that number. I told Kyle I was going to pull the trigger at 275, but I smashed on it at 277. It's not financial advice, but Egg Rag and Dark Defender be on point with their TA. But the surprising thing is this came after the announcement that Hugo Phylon, CEO of Flair, said that he was going to drop $15 billion on $5 billion XRP for the Flair network. And the price is down? Another ETF announcement. This one even pays you option income. But the price is down. Ripple is building its own Oracle. Yeah, it's the, the, the fundamentals are solid. Yet yeah, we're at 277 today. Jamie Dimon out here saying that $8 billion are going to come in the ETFs of XRP. So the price is down. Why is the price down? I'm going to tell you why the price is down. Because they're out here manipulating the price. Ain't no way you can convince me. With 300 banks that include Santander and JP Morgan, both all these banks moving $1.3 trillion in payments alone in the second quarter of this year. 650 million PayPal customers even have access to XRP payments. And the price is down. We got web data that showed that 12.4 billion XRP were moved off exchanges like Binance and Upbit, a supply squeeze, but prices stayed flat. That's dark pool trading or big players keeping it low to scoop up cheap tokens. SEC keeps setting the ETFs back, slap, slapping stay orders on funds like GODC and BitW, the ones with the XRP exposure. Yeah, the game is rigged for now. What y'all know about the Pearson correlation coefficient? I'm going to tell you about it. The Pearson correlation coefficient is a statistical measure of how closely price movements of XRP and Bitcoin align over a specific period. The coefficient ranges from negative one to plus one. Plus one, perfect positive correlation XRP and BTC prices move in lockstep. Both rise and fall together. Zero is no correlation. XRP price moves independently of BTC. Negative one, perfect negative correlation XRP rises when Bitcoin falls and vice versa. Now we're at 0.58. And this figure comes from web data typically calculated over a 30 day or a 90 day period using daily closing prices. It reflects XRP's price behavior relative to Bitcoin, which is the crypto market benchmark, right? 0.58 means XRP price movements are moderately tied to Bitcoin but not tightly coupled and now giving XRP room to carve its own path. The 0.42 uncorrelated portion means that XRP's price is influenced by unique factors like Ripple's partnerships, the ETF filings, or getting announced in the strategic stockpile. The 0.58 correlation suggests that XRP's price is less tied to Bitcoin's organic movements and more suppressed by external actors like whales and dark pool trading. 12.45 billion moved off exchanges, but no price hike? Man, F out of here. That 0.58 lets us know one thing for sure, that XRP is not a Bitcoin clone. So it's getting real crazy out here. Man. 
So get your assets off the exchange if you still got them on there. Put them in a cold wallet. Me, I'm an Ella Pal man. Deep freeze, baby. Yeah, do that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's the best time to do it. Share the video. It'll help with the algorithm. And smash that like button. You know you want to smash. 9,000.